Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, city applications that have been released in January. These are some of the better ones I would I would want to call it. <clears throat> Since iOS 5 has been released, you know, uh, the jailbreak for iOS 5, Siri has been a uh, big part of what developers have been focusing on. So I'm going to show you some of the Siri tweaks for January 2012. This assistant extension right here, if you add it to your um, Siri, you'll be able to do things such as open applications, turn up screen brightness, turn on Bluetooth, that kind of stuff. So let's see if we can get it to work. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes? Turn on Bluetooth. And you can see right there that it enabled Bluetooth. And since it's showing the screen here, you can tell that that's not the original look of Siri. Um, that's another tweak that you can add. And that one I just showed you, by the way, was called Assistant Extensions. <clears throat> this one is called Custom Siri Background. And what you can do, you can enable it, you can set it to fill the screen or or to set it just to fill that little top part and not and not change the color of your microphone you can even go as far to tweak the microphone if you want to get that uh, tweak there's a, actually a tweak uh, called uh, something microphone Syrian mics I think it's called you can find it but anyway here you can pick from the library or you can take a photograph with your camera in real time and apply it to your Siri background and what I have done in mine is because you can see I yes. have t taken a picture or a cartoon like photograph of myself and I applied it to the, my background uh -oh. so Walmart doesn't seem to have an address <laughs> <laughs> Tap the name below if you'd like to add one. They think I'm. Ta she thinks I'm talking about Walmart. But anyway, I was just showing you that background. All right, that's two of the settings for Siri. Let's see what else. All right, hands-free is probably one of the most fascinating tweaks available right now. But to enable it, we need to respring. So let me go ahead and start that process. What you can do, I, I can actually speak to my phone without even touching it in any way. And what I'll do is I'll lay it right there so you can see that there's nothing touching my phone in any way. And once it comes back up from, from rebooting, I will uh, get Siri to open Facebook <clears throat> okay let's just hope it works I may have to say her name a couple of times because I am pretty distant from it here Siri yes open Facebook okay now you can see right there that she did launch Facebook now it won't do that unless you have the assistant extensions enabled okay let me show you one more Siri yes launch app advice sorry I can't find that app Siri yes launch app advice Sorry, I can't find that app. I had this one working earlier. Siri? Yes? Launch app advice. 
Sorry, I can't okay, find that. Okay, for some that. reason it's not going to work. Um, but you can see that there are some tweaking that needs to be done, but it does work for most part. You can do things on here that's amazing now. Siri? Yes? Call home. Calling home. And you Other can phone. And you can see right now she started calling home, and I actually interrupted and turned it off to keep it from turn, uh, continuing the call. But it's pretty awesome. That's a, that's a fun tweak to mess around with. But now it is a battery jerker. So you might want to think about that. If you're going to be using it, you might want to be close to the battery where you can definitely turn your uh, connect to uh, AC adapter. Okay, while it's booting back up, come over to iPhoneCaptain.com, guys. There's a lot going on over there. I'm going to be giving away some prizes. I'm trying to increase my subscribers here on YouTube. When I think I'm up to like almost 800 now, when I get to 1,000, I'm going to give away a, a, iPhone, a iPod Touch. But... Each time I get to a hundred mark, at the eight hundred mark, the nine hundred mark, I'm gonna give away five prizes. And to be entered to win, you have to leave a comment. Unless you leave a comment, you will not be entered. And you can leave it on any of my videos on YouTube anywhere. It doesn't have to be this particular video. It can be on anyone in particular. I mean, it doesn't have to be anyone in particular. Let's see. Okay, um, pretty much for the month month of January, I would say Flotation and Zephyr is probably two of new ones that you, that we need to talk about. Flotation, what it does is when you pull down your notification screen at the top. You can see it looks a little different. It, it'll actually, you can set how much it dims or fades that screen when you touch it right here to pull down. And, in, and instead of just pulling it down, it'll, it scrolls. You can, you can turn it, let's see if I can do this. All right, see how different that looks? The, the uh, page behind it doesn't move. All right, now when I enable it, look how it looks. It, look, it lets the page scroll down behind it. Okay. Just a little tweak. It makes it look better. Zephyr, if you haven't tried it out, uh, you have to swipe up from the bottom to get it to work. When you swipe up from the bottom, also that one that's going to open right there in the background, that's Super Switcher. That's another one we'll talk about. But this one that's open right here too is called Zephyr. And it's a multitask tweak. And what it does is say that we are over in uh, Facebook. And we want to go back to where we were previously in the settings menu. Okay, to do that we simply just have to swipe. And we can, we can go right back into our settings. And if we had something open before that, we can scroll right back into it. Whatever was open before settings will open up right there and I don't remember what it was looks like it was Cydia but anyway that's a that's an awesome tweak if you don't have it and it, it's it's a little bit buggy but they have updated it just today matter of fact they even updated it and it's working a whole lot better today so I do recommend it I think it's $2.99 that's the only one I've showed so far that's that's a paid app but it's $2.99 all the other ones I've showed has been free except this one here that I'm fixing to show right now it's called Super Switcher guys I love this app what you do is you assign nine of your favorite applications to be your to be on a favorites page and what that does is when you open your multitask you double tap the home button to open multitask it opens your nine apps that I have assigned right here 
Okay, but the, that's not the good thing. The good thing about it is you can make phone calls, emails, text, and get on the internet right all from right here. It gets even better than that. Guys, this is for 99 cents too. There's all your all of your SB settings right there. If you're not an SB settings fan, you don't know what jailbreaking is all about to begin with. That's what that is. All right. All of those settings are on the second screen of Super Switcher, which is that. Guys, this app is 99 cents. I recommend you get it. I love it. It's called Super Switcher, and check it out. And one more before we go is ProTube. If you haven't had an opportunity to check ProTube out, I recommend you you, you get it because it's an awesome app for, for YouTube if you like YouTube like me, you're gonna love this. And the and the great thing about it, it's got a built-in download manager right in it. If you want to save a particular video to watch later, you simply just go to that video and you can download it and it'll be right here in your in your download manager. Alright? If you want to send the link to a video that you like, all you gotta do is tap this URL right here. And it'll copy the the link that you like. All right. You can sign in under your own name. Go back home. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. It's I, I I was having a little trouble with it before I started the video, but I'm gonna have to respring. Looks like. But anyway, guys, there's your five or six apps. Check them out. Them's awesome. Come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back.